Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Interruption in three, two, one! Hey, excuse me. How do you do, Mr. Mayor? Now, don't you worry, I know you made sure to save last time I heard to chew you out. No, I'm here to thank you. Ahem, for being so gracious to establish the Reset Se Surveillance Center. Allow me to extend my most heartfelt thanks, so thanks. With this, I can finally get back to monitor and reset behavior in town. I guess it means you see how important it is for me to keep chewing you out when you reset. That's uh, how I'm taking it anyway. Well, don't worry, next time I'll give you a verbal lashing of a lifetime. Oh yeah, just one last thing. I know you're the mayor, but the center is off limits, even to you. Them's the brakes. Rossetti out! He says that it's off limits to us, but there are ways that we can indeed visit it. Uh, I like how he didn't have to tunnel over very far. Because I'm probably going to be the one who's resetting the most, I guess I had to make his job convenient. So, I'm glad that he's going to be giving up me the chewing out of a lifetime whenever he does chew me out, because that means that our funding to that is going into good places. Yes. From Croc. Thanks for coming over the other day. We're friends, you know. We can always be straightforward with me. And to show you I'm serious, sent you a little gift. Take it. Okay. Uh, who's next? Stinky! Hey! Nice try, bro, but you won't li win this letter battles. You can see, uh, but you can't see about I'm flexing my muscles now. I thought you should know it's race really sometime from Big Stinky. Okay. And Shari. Okay. For those of you that did not read the letter that I put on screen the other day, uh, which was in yesterday's video. It didn't come up the first time for whatever reason. Um... I was telling, I pawned off the exotic lamp back to Shari, telling her, like, oh, yes, like, you wanted this, you know, yeah, it definitely was not ever in my possession, yeah, like that, because she was doing that to me. Here we go. I kept reading the letter you sent me over and over, worrying that your writing slows you down. You just gotta power through it. I'll be waiting for a reply. From Style and Shari. Uh... Okay! She does not understand whatsoever. <laughs> then again, what else is new? Let's see what Croc gave me. Kitty wall. You know, these animals probably mean well, though, but whenever they send me items with names like that, it just comes off as insulting. I'm sorry. So, what is on the agenda for today? I want to go to the roost first. Well, not the roost. It's actually called the cafe in this game. It's called the roost in other games. And I would like to kind of explain things a little bit more about this place because I didn't really explain anything the first day. Uh, first of all, oh, you can have villagers in here. I'm just enjoying a little afternoon pick-me-up. Oh, and I'm creating a new dessert recipe to go with it. Aw, okay. So your animals can be in here. Sometimes even special animals like the shopkeepers up on Main Street can be in here, and you can learn a bit more about them. You can talk to Brewster from the side here. He will open up to you a little bit more over time. He's very similar to Sable in that regard. Not only that, in Animal Crossing City Folk, he could store gyroids for you. You know, he was kind of like a museum exhibit for the gyroids, and in fact, the roost was even below the museum in the basement. Uh, I don't believe that he can store gyroids for you anymore, which is really a shame because I liked having gyroid storage, because I like hanging on to all my gyroids, but they just add up so much. If I'm not mistaken, there's over 120 different gyroids. There's that many. And there's no sort of storage specifically dedicated to them or anything like that. It's really frustrating. Uh, the other thing that I want to show is, if you tell him no to drinking it right away, saying it's too hot... Really? Please drink it before it cools off too much, cool! Yeah, he will keep saying that like it's the most emotion that you'll get out of him for a while. And it's kind of nice. There are other things that you can do here at the cafe, but we can't really show them quite yet. I just kind of wanted to have yesterday have the atmosphere and music of this place soak in, and today, you know, I'd go over explaining things. So, I have a bit of a surprise for you guys. Uh, those of you that remember what I was saying a few days ago might notice that today is December 19th. Meaning that we are going to be having a visitor, or rather, I'm going to be visiting somebody else today. I want to go dig up my fossils, I want to build my snowman, I want to go dig up my fossils, I want to go dig up any gyroids that I might find, and I want to go up to Main Street. Plus, I want to do my snowman bingo for the day. As you can imagine, I am very excited to get this started, so we're not going to be spending much time in Pallet today, we're going to mostly be spending it in another town. What town, you might ask? Well, you'll find out in what is about 20 minutes for me, about one second for you. Okay, interruption in the routine. While I was out building my snowman, we have Katrina visiting our town today, and while I've kind of already shown this procedure, I forget if I brought this up last time or not. Not the Zelda references or anything like that, but it is very important that you visit Katrina 20 times. This is an incredibly difficult feat, but you do indeed get something for it. And it's something that I will not be able to show off 
in the series at all. It's really, really a shame, though, but just within the span of, like, five or six weeks, we are not going to be able to see her 20 times. It's crazy. Fighting over how best to run their business are two young twins. Gee, I wonder who. They appear as mere reflections. Gee, I wonder who. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh, yes, I can. I see disaster upon relationships. Black leather jacket. This item will be the key to narrowly avoiding impending disaster. Okay. I, I suppose uh, I could bring up how fortunes actually work in Animal Crossing. Uh, they do impact things like, you know, how animals act to you. They do impact uh, how often you get bees whenever you shake trees. Things like that. And uh, also your character can trip and fall if you are running. I get a lot of people asking me why they're tripping and falling randomly when they're not even wearing, like, the King Tut mask. That is why. There are, three t uh, there are a few tiers of luck. You have bad days, normal days, good days, and very good days. It's pretty much random what you have. However, if you have lucky items or you wear whatever Katrina tells you to wear that day, then you will go up a tier. So a bad day will become a normal day, a good day will become a very good day, etc. That's how it works. It's kind of a strange way of doing things, but yeah, that is kind of how it works. Anyway, uh, back to the routine. I will see you guys in a minute and I'll show you guys the photo from the Reset Center. Uh, and I'll show you guys the photo from the Reset Center celebration, ceremony, something or other. The bingo numbers are 5, 23, 1. Well, once again, I still don't have a bingo. I am one away on three different possible places. This is getting really frustrating, and I'm very hoping that whoever we are visiting has snowmen in their town, because I could really really use a bingo number right about now. And I don't have any more. Time to pick up that piggy bank from Cyrus. What's it look like now? Yeah! I'm sorry for not showing the process of what it was like to drop something off of Cyrus yesterday, but I wanted to keep it a surprise exactly what I was going to do. Yeah, a solid gold piggy bank. Is that not the pimpinest thing you have ever seen? Now just to show this off, whenever you've customized furniture to be a different color or used ore on it, it will turn into a red leaf. If you have customized furniture to have a custom design on it, like changing the sheets on a bed for example with a custom Able Sisters pattern or something like that, instead you will get a yellow leaf. So you can tell at a glance which furniture is customized and which one isn't. It's really nice if you like a certain item and you have a bunch of different customized versions of it and you're keeping it in storage and you want to see which one's the customized version and which one's not at a glance. Really, really nice. Getting these jingle shelves for me as it's one new jingle item, and uh, no daily fortune day, unfortunately. But, unfortunately, I just realized it. But I think this could go really nice in Molly's house up on the wall, the Rococo candlestick, even though it's, like, only a little bit away from Rocco, and Rocco's right here. You didn't hear me say that. I'll talk to you because I never talked to you. Yes, I'll find everything I'm looking for. Let's chat. I think they just, they just mail out a weekly ad or something. I would have to check new stuff every day. That's actually kind of a new idea. I have fun imagining what will be here waiting for me to buy. Yeah, I guess he's got a point on both sides. I think that this TV could also go in somebody's house. I'm gonna need to write out some letters soon. I'm having some gift items piling up, though. I don't really have plans to write any letters today, but maybe tomorrow. I'll probably get to writing some letters in between videos or something like that. Well, we are almost ready to go. I took care of all the routine type stuff. I talked to a couple animals, not a whole ton. I showed the new cafe. We talked to Rossetti. Decent enough. Now, I'm hoping I'll be able to show how lucrative of a way of making money this is. I have all these baskets of perfect peaches, and I don't know the native fruit of the town that we're going to. I am hoping, 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 hoping it is not peaches, because I have wanted to show for such a long time just how much money you can make from picking perfect fruit and selling it in a town where it's not native. Oh boy. Alright. I guess in that case, in we go.
guys, it's Matt O'Morio. Where are you? Uh, the eagle has I was, landed. No, are you I was. <laughs> I was totally right next to the gate, and you walked right past me. Uh, but I would... were you actually were you inside the building? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you might want to come- Okay, there we go! There, there we, we go. go! Finally have our first glimpse of our character- Wow, um... See, I was a ghost. For... I, I like the- I like the knitted crochet look, though, but you kind of have, Thanks. like, old lady hair, I notice. <laughs> Don't diss the old ladiness of my town. No, I'm not- I'm, I'm not saying the old ladiness <laughs> is bad! I, old, old ladies are awesome! They are badasses! <laughs> yes, quote me on that endlessly. Anyway, uh, how about you introduce yourself a little bit more, besides just your name, because... Yeah. <laughs> All right, makes sense. So I'm Metamorio. I'm uh, the absolute craziest Animal Crossing enthusiast out there. Probably not, but I like to pretend like I am anyway. Um, <laughs> I love this game. Been playing it since GameCube. I wish I could say I've been playing it since N64, but I'm just not that cool. And it's not Japanese. <laughs> and I'm not Japanese. <laughs> So I guess I'm not one of the originals from. You All know. right. How about we? Uh, how about we take a look around your town? Yeah. Uh, do you have anything in particular you want to show me? I see you got a few public works projects right here. Isn't this a bench of some kind? Yes. This is the. T t well, it's called the tire toy, but. Yeah. It's not really a oh, toy. Well, it's just like a really bench. <laughs> yeah. You think like you'd like run over it and bat boing you bounce? This right here is pretty cool. Yeah. This, this is, is my tower. Zen like... clock. Awesome. It's pretty okay. legit. Uh, I see that you have your YouTube icon over here. <laughs> hey, yes, I do. <laughs> uh, okay, picture taking moment. There we go. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Hopefully, I wasn't photo bombing. I see that you have uh, peach trees. Yes. Lots of them. I am a little bit worried that your native fruit is peaches because. Are you? I brought loads and loads of perfect peaches. In fact, if you do not have a peach town, I would like to give you a few baskets of them as a gift. And in case you do already have peaches, I did get you this item that um, I think you will really, really enjoy as a classic Animal Crossing fan. I need to move a little bit before I can put it down. Yeah. I, I didn't bring any, um... What do you mean no sp Oh, I can't put stuff down where there's <laughs> textures. You can't I, put I never, stuff down on I, the sidewalk. I, I never put down sidewalks, though, so like, I, I actually didn't know that. I, I never put that stuff down. As, as a retro Animal Crossing fan, I think you will appreciate that item that I've given you. Yes, a retro TV. Remember, that um... Awesome. Okay. Remember in the original? Oh, you have like the same lamp I got from Croc the other day. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but in the um, in the original Animal Crossing game, uh, you remember the retro TV? Like it had like that nurse on the TV, and she's going like, oh, 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 yes, oh, oh, oh my like, gosh, it's... yes. <laughs> Your native town is your native fruit is peaches. It is. I didn't want to spoil it for you. Uh, <laughs> I thought your reaction. I can would never be show what fruit trading is like. I <laughs> I wanted to take peaches from my town and sell them in someone else's town so I could show you how much money you get from it and just no. But a fail. Denied. I know. I figured your reaction uh, would be more golden than if I said anything. <laughs> more golden than these perfect peaches. But I will take these because I don't have uh, perfect peach trees planted because I screwed it up the first time I had the option when I'm running. Oh, this is one of your houses. I see that you have multiple player houses in your town. You can have four people living in the town. It's just that only one of them can be the mayor. Yes. Uh, I see that. Oh, you just. I you did. Saw did it. you see me face yeah, plant? I, you know, it's funny that you. <laughs> uh, it's funny that you're having this problem though because it actually fits in very well. I was just explaining different tiers of luck and what they mean in this very same day. Really? So it's actually very fitting that we have somebody who's tripping and falling in. Who are you? Ricky. Oh, Ricky is here upon me. Okay. <laughs> you probably don't get that joke. Meanwhile, I'm, anyone else, because I'm the only person who has ever played a game that costs like 80 gajillion dollars. <laughs> uh, is Ricky nice, or what is he? Ricky I, I, is a cranky neighbor. Okay, I can't hear the game audio right now, so I can't just listen to his voice today. I thought I heard something a little different and worse than his voice. The tag is itching so bad, I can hardly stand anymore. I'm freaking out, googly boog. <laughs> Why did, does he did, say did you... googly boog? He did not say that the other day. Did you Did you give him, uh, somebody that catchphrase and he picked it up? No, I didn't. That Somebody else had that catchphrase, and I don't know where they got it from. This looks like this looks like a Pietro's house. Is does it? it? Well, maybe you should go it inside. Is. <laughs> Okay, love so him. we both have Pietro living in our town. I love him so much. Okay, no wonder you were saying you weren't caught up on the series, but Pietro was here. He has a sweet table. He has jingle furniture, too. Have you been giving him these? Yes, I have. I want him to have a jingle house, so I've been giving him oh, all the jingle cool. furniture. <laughs> I don't feel like this is our first time seeing each other. 
Pallets? Huh? Emil from Pallets? Never mind then. Hello for the first time, stranger. I'm Pietro. Nice to meet you, Emil. Whenever you have any trouble, feel free to come see me. Yes, this is an alternate universe Pietro. For some reason he feels like... <laughs> Great emote there. For some reason, it feels like we have met before, but he doesn't know from where. It's it's kind of funny. I wanted to be able to show this and sure. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm busting out my emotes. I just got this one. Nod, nod. The nod, nod. nod, nod. Yes. Cunning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so something that I wanted to show, but I accidentally left uh, before doing it. So, if you dig through animals dressers, there is it, there is so much like him. It's scary. What he has like other like rainbow wool in there or something like that, or his sparrow like clown makeup. Let's see. What's this one say? Whoa, that's an odd way to store things. And of course, it's toward the fourth wall, so you can't even see it. I, I guess I could swivel the camera around though, but it's not like you can really see anything in there because it's always mm -hmm. empty. Which that is indeed an interesting way to display things. Yeah. <laughs> He's just having an empty thing. Just have empty whatever all over the place. So, uh, is there anything else you want to show me around your town? I'm curious. Uh... Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Egbert's house. <laughs> We have so two much. overlapping villages. I know, you have like my two favorites. I don't know how this happened. Uh, okay, before... Let me talk to Egbert first. Yes. I like the modern Ben in here. I don't think he's seen your face Oh, I know. Are you here visiting? Yeah, he... <laughs> His catchphrase is big boo. <laughs> what kind of place are you running here? Things get pretty dirty around I know, I was about to say, I'm like, Egbert. if you were like... If you were like a 13 year old boy, I could see that though, but. No, just, no, just it's, cause. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very you, I'll say that much. <laughs> and I mean that in the nicest way possible. Okay, I'll, I, I'll stop sounding rude. Anyway, no, I want to no, see no. what other villagers you have. Uh, yes. Deirdre, I know. Uh, Tammy, I know. Uh, Egbert, Ricky, Harry, Pietro, Kit, Bud. Okay, so there's no other overlap. Is there anything in particular you want to show in the town before yes. we get the island? Because I was thinking we could do a few island tours. Well, I do want you to come over here and see this, because I think you'll like this. Okay, let's oh, see. No. There you oh, are. what, the two perfect peaches I gave you that were useless? <laughs> hey, I'll plant them. They'll help me later. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I understand. Oh, that's a nice-looking bench. Wow. This place is really pretty, actually. This is an example of what a tank can pick up. Wait a minute. I see a snowflake. I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> I love that you I am can trying catch to get icy furniture. I'm sorry. What? I love that you can catch snowflakes. That's such a yeah. cute feature. Uh, where'd you go? I can't find you. Here's a pinky sign. Oh, this is what. That's you what I wanted to show you. Okay. Uh, so I'm curious. Is this like a pro design or something like that? Like I've never actually built one of these before. Yeah, like both of the designs in my town are pro designs that Who I just is made. Who this? <laughs> GG. G G G G baby baby baby. Oh, that one is. <laughs> ribets. I, I like that. Ribets oh, is her catchphrase. That's actually really cool. Oh, this brick bridge is so pretty. This whole place is so pretty. You're making me want to go back and work on more public works projects for my town. <laughs> Thank uh, or like, you. just play for a while so animals is just new ones to me. Oh, you have a rare tree snap right here. Wow, okay. I need to stop getting distracted so that we can actually do stuff. <laughs> so you also have a cafe move. here, which is nice. Yeah. We might want to do that. Reset center, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, a lot of a lot of things. Um, you want to head to the island now, though, just before oh, we get distracted well, anymore? I'll, uh, I know, I keep falling on my face. I will, if I can get there. There we go. Uh, I was going to say race you there because you keep tripping, though, but you're kind of... But I'm already ahead, kind of... so... I was trying not to run in your town too much, though, because, uh, you know, we've run carelessly grassware and all that, but... It doesn't uh, really bother me, though. Yeah, December's also the time that your grass will regrow the slowest, so this is actually the worst time to, you know, be playing too much. The thing is that any movement at all will cause grass wear. Yeah. Not just running. Uh, people also believe that putting patterns in the ground will protect it. It actually doesn't. It doesn't. No, it does not. Yeah, there, there's a lot of myths out there about grass wear, or animal tracks as I call it. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's the Japan. I think it's the official Japanese name, whereas there's no official American name for it. I think animal tracks sounds cuter. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I wish um, it had a name here, but... You know, you know, just saying, why is Animal Tracks back? Like, that was like one of my least favorite things in the series. Like, they got rid of my least favorite thing in the series, which I'm sure I've told you before, because we, we actually, we're good friends and we talk about Animal Crossing a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. and, uh, I've mentioned that talking to your animals in City Folk is my least favorite thing in the series. Yeah. The fact that you have to leave the area and come back to them and say something new, which breaks the immersion of the game a lot. But Animal Tracks was something that quite literally no one liked, and yet they brought it back here. I know! I mean, the idea was that it, it makes your town unique, you know, because it shows, like, where you walk commonly. But it's like, if you play a lot, the whole dang town becomes dirt. That's true. I mean, in a and sense, I don't mind it, because it just, like, I think it's kind of cute. Just, and yeah. I don't think it, I don't think it does it to the point where it's unbearable to look at. I mean, I think it still has character and still 
lets you have it's... ground, but... I, I, I get what they were going for, but I still wish it was gone. Mm -hmm. uh, weird little jokes I'm talking about, Dad. <laughs> uh, I, I have a favorite Capit song, though. I don't know if we'll see it or not. I won't spoil it just in case we do, but... Um, the thing about Animal Tracks is just that... I, I look at this game's credits, mm -hmm. and I'm like... I see that Monolith Soft developed this game, and I'm just like... You guys create, like, the best RPG that has been made in, like, two console generations, and yes. yet you put Animal Tracks back into Animal Crossing. Smooth. I don't know. I don't know why they would do that. I, and I don't know why they do that instead of putting, like, other non-repeated things in. Like, I don't know. Like, don't why, know, is there, like... why is there no recycling bin? Like... I don't have a why problem is there no, with it. Why is, there, why is there no Sable story? I don't know. I don't know. 